Moz reports Google changes their algorithm five to 600 times per year. Now, of course, most of these are minor updates, but from time to time they release major updates that affect search results in a big way. Now, this is a big fear for many SEOs, but if you focus on doing quality SEO work and not trying to cheat, beat, or game the system in any way, you'll be fine. Many SEOs get tempted to do some lower quality work because they want to have overnight success. But as quickly as they find their success, if that's what you want to call it, they'll lose it just as quickly. Now, I don't mess with anything that isn't going to do good for my client this month or a year from now. Quality work is able to pass a new algorithm test time and time again. The quality tactics that worked a couple of years ago also still work today because they're the right tactics to use and they're focused on quality and the other things we'll discuss in this course. So let's just stick with the high quality work and you'll be able to do great things and be able to better sleep than others when a major algorithm update is released. Now just as with anyone, we should pay attention to what Google is changing even if they don't specifically talk about local business websites. For example, in April 2015, Google rolled out the mobile update, which gave websites with a mobile-friendly version a boost in rankings over those that did not have that mobile-friendly version. These updates will still affect you, but there have been some major updates that specifically target local businesses. In July 2014, U.S. local search results were affected by the Pigeon update, and it rolled out to other countries like the U.K., Canada, Australia, and so on in December of that same year. The goal here was to provide more localized search results for searchers. Years ago, Google also released what was called the Penguin update. This wasn't specifically targeting local businesses, but rather any site that had bought or received spammy, low-quality links, with the only purpose of those links being to boost their rankings. Now, there is talk of more Penguin updates, but again, if you're not trying to game the system, this really shouldn't worry you. The Panda algorithm update that was originally rolled out in 2011, it targeted websites with low quality content, which is something we'll talk about as well in a bit. So over the years, Google has continued to update their algorithm, targeting sites that have what is referred to as thin content, meaning a site with low quality or very few words on a page that are providing no real value to the visitor. So we'll talk about this more when we get into the section on creating content and how much content you should have on a site and on each page as well. When you provide SEO services, it's definitely a good idea to take note of what Google is doing and to follow along with what they ask you to do. When they tell you to create a mobile-friendly site, do it. In 2011, they started talking about thin content, and in 2015 and on, they are continuing to talk about it because it's about providing quality to site visitors. This has continued to be important over the years and will continue to be important in the upcoming years as well.